Now, answering your questions about the law and legal issues. This is Legal Break with attorney Gary Bruce. Hello there and welcome. I'm Maureen Akers. Good to see you, Gary. Good morning. Good to be here. Thank you. Absolutely. All right, this week's question, we'll get right to it. Gary, are box truck crash lawsuits treated the same as 18-wheeler crash lawsuits? Uh, well, the, the quick answer is they should be. Yeah. I mean, because the importance is just the same. Uh, there are a lot of details that are different when you drill down on a corporate corporately owned big truck versus okay. an in in-state truck like a delivery truck would right. be like a box truck you right. know or versus an 18 wheeler which may be from out of state mm -hmm. coming here from who knows where mm -hmm. you've got defendants who are maybe located in different places a local truck will of course have local drivers and local ownership probably where an 18 wheeler will have people from California or who knows where, you know. So, and then you have to find those people and you have to serve them and you have to find their insurance company. And the truth is um, they shouldn't be as far as what we do on the ground with regard to our client, mm -hmm. making sure, you know, medical is taken care of, making sure people are getting well and getting mm -hmm. taken care of. But dealing with some of these companies is very difficult. They're slow to react. It's not like, so the, the real difference, I guess, Maureen, would be uh, if you get hit by somebody that's insured by Allstate, Nationwide, Geico, USAA, something like that, right. uh, they've got adjusters that jump on it pretty quick. Okay. These tr these trucks don't, and uh, you can be stuck waiting to hear from somebody because yeah. they're trying to find some way to get out of it. Yeah. You know? yeah. <laughs> if you want to know the <laughs> truth, so so it takes a while to get them to even commit. Oh, yeah. Usually, to get your vehicle repaired, get you in a rental car, do all the things that normally we kind of take for granted in a more routine situation. So, yeah, I think uh, they shouldn't be, but they require more work on the front end and then in the, in the back end too. Okay, so are the laws any different for each of these cases? You know, I have this theory that all the laws kind of drill down to 10, you know. Do, yeah. I, mean, I mean, it's pretty simple, do the right thing, but, yeah. but uh, there are specific rules that apply to interstate traffic and intrastate, mm -hmm. so the regulations are differently, which which change the obligations and duties of different companies and drivers. So there's time limits on how much somebody can drive if it's interstate, you know, but we don't necessarily have that locally. So there are a lot of little minutia that are very important, but do impact uh, how these cases are handled differently. Okay, all right. Thank you, Gary. Thank, Thank you. you very much. We'll see you on the next legal break.